The intoxicating aroma of mastic trees is what welcomes the visitor to the island of Chios. As one enters the historic harbour, one is immediately struck by the number and variety of craft either moored or under construction. pedestal in the municipal gardens, the Greek War of Independence hero Canaris scans the horizon. The Corais Library, with its large collection of books, including a rare edition the Scrapolian's expedition to Egypt. In the marketplace, there is much activity, and everywhere the pungent smell of jasmine and lemon blossom. The coastal site of Mavra Volia offers the visitor a strange, alluring vista with the expanding sea, the color of the rocks and the clarity of light. Southwest of here is situated Pirigi built in a mixture of Byzantine and Genoese architectural styles. of the islanders with artful movements prick the mastic trees which produce the renowned beverage masticha. One of the most important Byzantine monuments on the island is Nea Moni adorned with frescoes of the 11th century. Daskalopetra, the stone on which Homer sat and taught his pupils.
everywhere abides history and legend. And tradition continues to this day. The horse, harnessed in the same way as of old, draws water from the bowels of the earth or threshes grain. Anavatos was built by the Byzantines in the 9th century. Today it presents a forlorn picture of a dead town and serves as a reminder that ages ago opposing armies clashed here. The present serene atmosphere bears only slight traces of great battles once fought. Mesta, the only village fortress of its kind in the world, happens to be the most important Hellenistic site and every effort is being made to preserve its character. Everywhere, narrow lanes, embrasures and connected arcades.